हेलो पीपल आई यू रेडी फॉर पायराज जिनमाइट वीडियो वेरी गुड सी करेंटली वेर वी आर यू नो वी आर लुकिंग एट एंटी ट्यूबरक्यूलर ड्रग्स ओके सो एंटी ट्यूबरक्यूलर ड्रग्स द फर्स्ट लाइन ड्रग्स यू हैव सीन आइसोनियाजिड रिफैम्पिन नाउ वी आर मूविंग ऑन टू पायराज जिनमाइट इथैम्ब्यूटोल स्ट्रेप्टोमाइसिन ऑल थ्री विल ट्राई टू कवर ओके पायराज जिनमाइट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज जेड Ethambutal streptomycin. We'll try to cover all the three. Gear up, gear up. So represented as Z, pyrazina mite. Okay. So it is also a synthetic. It's an analog synthetic analog of nicotinamide. So it also has something to do with nicotine. Correct? Just like INH. Even INH was nicotinic acid. So it is like nicotinamide analog, and um, it is effective against intracellular bacilli inside. Okay. So it is effective against intracellular bacteria bacilli. You will see that streptomycin is effective against extracellular bacilli. Okay, so pyrazinamide we will will go inside and kill. Okay, it is sidal. It is sidal. It will kill the bacilli. Everything what we have seen so far is sidal only. Correct. So we will not highlight that point. Then in the uh, anti-tubercular regime, you know HRZ is given right for the new patients. In that Z is pyrazinamide. You should know. I hope you remember that thing. This one, guys. This is very important. If you have noticed, HRZ for new patients, HRZ is given for two months, right? There, Z is pyrazinamide. Okay. Previously treated, HRZ S. Again, Z is there. Z and all work only for first two months. Okay. After that, they won't give. So Z will work only if there is inflammatory condition. Okay. So it is given only for first two months. This is also another point that you will have to remember. Then, why it is given only first two months? Because it works only if there is inflammation. Like INH, it inhibits mycolic acid synthesis. Okay, that is a. Uh, they think that this is how it works. It works in acidic pH. This also, if you want, you can know. But however, it will go and inside, and it will kill the bacilli, intracellular bacilli. It will kill. Now look at let's look at pharmacokinetics. Not at all difficult. It is given orally, well absorbed from GI. That is why it is given orally. Obviously, it is well distributed in body, even CSF. Same thing you have seen for all the drugs so far. Nothing new. Metabolized in liver, excreted in urine. Also same only for all drugs, uh, except in rifampicin. You saw that it is excreted in bile also. Now as it crosses CSF. This pyrazinamide has an advantage. They are saying it is highly useful in meningeal TB. So this is one point you can note: highly useful in meningeal TB pyrazinamide. Okay. Then moving on, let's move on to the adverse effects of pyrazinamide. <clears throat> Now let us look at the adverse effects. Look at the adverse effects. It has dose dependent dependent hepatotoxicity. Not at all new for us. Whatever we have seen till now, same thing. Dose dependent hepatotoxicity was there. The only thing new here for you is this hyperuricemia, gout. Okay. Yet one more point for pyrazinamide that you are learning now is hyperuricemia, gout. Everything else same. Anorexia, nausea, vomiting, fever, skin rash, everything same. It is safe in pregnancy. This is another nice thing that you can know for pyrazinamide. It is contradicted in liver diseases. Obviously, everything is contradicted in, in liver diseases because all of them had this dose-dependent hepatotoxicity. Okay. So now let us move on to the next drug. What did you learn in pyrazinamide? Just summarize. Pyrazinamide, pyrazinamide against intracellular bacilli. Pyrazinamide only first two months. Pyrazinamide highly useful in M E N I N G I A L T B. Pyrazinamide hyperuricemia. उटरसिमियाजिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडिनाइडि
ethambutol. Ethambutol represented as E. E, this ethambutol, if you notice, no, just go to the uh, therapy and see here. E is there everywhere. H, R and E are there everywhere, right? H, R, E, H, R, E, H, R, E, H, R, E. H, R and E are there all the time, okay? Ethambutol, all the time it's there, okay? So, it is a first line antitubicular. It is given 15 mg per kg. If you want, you can just compare this chart. Hold on. Say isoniazid is the least, 5 mg per kg. Pyrazinamide maximum 25 mg per kg, ethambutol 15 mg per kg, streptomycin 15 mg per kg, rifampin 10 mg per kg. You should know this guys. Let's go back to ethambutol. Ethambutol is synthetic. It inhibits arabinosyl transferases. So cell wall synthesis is inhibited. It's the same as maximum of them. Isoniazid cell wall, pyrazinamide cell wall, ethambutol cell wall. Only rifampin was RNA synthesis. Okay. This is bacteriostatic. Ethambutol is bacteriostatic. This point is new for you. It is effective against MAC infections also. What is MAC infection, guys? It's nothing but mycobacterium avium complex. Okay. Mycobacterium avium complex. So it is effective against that also. Fast multiplying bacilli are affected. This is almost same like isoniazid everything. It is orally given because it is well absorbed by GAD. You can see the diagram here. Obviously it is a tablet because it is well absorbed in the GIT. Widely distributed in body crosses the blood brain barrier same as other drugs you have seen now. Metabolized in liver, excreted in urine, very very standard. No need to note this. Okay. Everything else same. So only whatever is different we will try to remember that. Uh, adverse drug reaction is optic neuritis. This is different. That is why what happens. Uh, in children less than 6 years they don't give because at least in adults now we can ask the patient if there is some vision defect if they are able to distinguish red and green and all that okay because ethambutol decreases visual acuity it can cause color vision defects the patient can't uh, will have red and green problem okay what problem they'll have red and green problem they will have okay so, the patients will they need periodic eye examination. In children below 6 years, due to uh, visual disturbances, ethambutol is not given because it is difficult to test the visual acuity in children. The other problems are hyperuricemia. This is, was there even in pyrazinamide. So, hyperuricemia will happen. Everything else is same. Okay. So, let us revise ethambutol now. Can you tell all these unique features of ethambutol? Are you ready? Guys, listen to the special points. Bacteria static only. Ethambutol effective against MAC infections also. Ethambutol optic neuritis avoid in children below 6 years. Ethambutol hyperuricema. Thank you so much. So we have understood ethambutol E. Now let's move on to the last one streptomycin S. So, streptomycin is a aminoglycoside antibiotic. You already have so much information about it from the uh, previous videos, correct? So, you remember that aminoglycosides bind uh, to uh, this one. Streptomycin actually binds to the 30S. So, the initiation of protein synthesis itself is inhibited, okay? So, that's what we remember from the previous videos, correct? This one is bactericidal. So, only bacteriostatic was ethambutol, okay. So, streptomycin bactericidal, it is uh, effective against extracellular. So, whatever is outside only it can kill. Intracellular, which one? Pyrazinamide, correct. And uh, streptomycin cannot penetrate the cell. It is extracellular and it is alkaline. But um, pyrazinamide was intracellular and acidic. You remember or you want to go back and check? It was intracellular and it was in acidic media. Where did we write acidic here? In acidic media it will work. Okay. In acidic media it will work and it will kill intracellular bacilli. Okay. So now coming back to streptomycin. It will work in alkaline media. It will be working against extracellular bacilli. 
and uh, it is injected IM. So it is the only one which is uh, injection. Everything we saw till now was oral. So it is not included for new patients. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, as you saw, streptomycin only two months for old patients. This is given for old patients, not for new patients. So just go back here and look at that. Are you sleeping or where you are awake? Kind of lost, right? We are looking at streptomycin. Okay. What we saw so far is that it is an aminoglycoside antibiotic. Okay. And um, it is also bactericidal. It is effective against the extracellular bacilli. <clears throat> it works better in alkaline media. It is injected IM. And if you look at the regimen, it is actually given to previously treated patients. So old patients only they will give. Previously treated. Don't say old because old is kind of confusing with age. So say previously treated the uh, patients, they will add streptomycin. That makes it as HRZES. Okay. It is given only for two months, guys. And that too in previously treated patients. Okay. As you saw, even uh, Z, that is pyrazinamide, is given only for two months. Okay. But streptomycin added for previously treated. So here you will write for previously treated patients. Okay. And how much will you give? 15 mg per kg. Correct. Look at this. 15 mg per kg. Streptomycin is contraindicated in pregnancy guys. Streptomycin is contraindicated in pregnancy. At, uh, the adverse drug reactions are normal for aminoglycoside antibiotics, ototoxicity, nephrotoxicity and neuromuscular blockade. This you can write, correct? What they say is everything else can be given in pregnancy, okay? But streptomycin contraindicated in pregnancy. So let us look at the important points uh, for uh, streptomycin. Ready? Streptomycin against extracellular. Streptomycin works in alkali pH. Streptomycin injected IM. Streptomycin for previously treated patients. Streptomycin contraindicated in pregnancy. Thank you so much. People, shall we just look at the five drugs uh, now? Okay. Isoniazid. What did you see? It's cheap. It can be used for chemo profile access of TB. That's all, right? What else is different? Everything else is same, right? Nothing new here. Mycolic acid. Nothing different here. It is safe in pregnancy. They are saying all of them. Nothing different here. It can cause convulsions, guys. Isoniazid, no? It can cause uh, CNS effects. So that is what you should know here. Isoniazid, CNS effects, okay? Rifampin. It is a sterilizing agent. It can kill the spruiters, okay? It is also bactericidal. The only bacteriostatic was ethambutol. Excreted in bile, this is very important for rifampicin. This is the only different thing, okay? Food reduces absorption of rifampin. So it should be taken in empty stomach. See, as rifampin is excreted in bile, even if there is renal failure, they can give rifampicin, okay? So new ones we have looked at now. Pyrazinamide, highly useful in meningeal TB. It will enter the cells. It will kill the intracellular bacilli. It causes gout. Ethambutol also causes gout. Ethambutol has more uh, adverse effects like optic neuritis. So it can affect vision. So visual acuity decreases color vision defects. Ethambutol is bacteriostatic. Then the last one here. Streptomycin should not be given in pregnancy. This is given IM. Okay, it's an injection. It is given to previously treated patients for first two months only. It will kill extracellular bacilli. It is active in alkaline pH. That's all for now guys. Say bye. Bye bye.